I just been on. No, no, I'm trying to explain so you understand why. I, why. <laughs> yeah. So if you listen to me, you hear that I'm calm. I was just on the phone to one of your colleague and I was in a proper state and he worked with me and that's why I'm calm. After, uh, yeah, after I came off the phone, I was talking to my husband in here. My voice wasn't raised or anything because when I'm not calm, my voice might be raised. But when I'm calm, this is what you get. And as I'm in here talking to my husband, my neighbor's partner, I've, it sounds like him, but the, the tone of voice, it could be her. Somebody walked past my door, going upstairs to their flat and shouted out, shut up, all the way to the car, from where they came in to where I could no longer hear them. What I'm saying, this is the norm for what I'm getting because of malicious allegations that were made where I was tried behind my back and they made me a violent nuisance. Now, I'm, I want to put on record that I've always said this young man has never been disrespectful to me, no matter what, no matter what, Um, if we had a different... if. His partner, uh, uh, sorry, I'm getting all jumbled up now. If his, mm, mm, if it, mm, yeah, it's it's my it's my condition. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. So um, no matter what, he was never disrespectful to me, regardless of whether his partner and I had a disagreement. It only just started recently. Yeah. I came in I came in the other day from shopping and because they removed the mats I have a, a husband who is a 100 year old and the situation the trolley was so messy and I'm saying I stood there recording because I have to keep record and I'm saying like um you know they removed the the mats so everything that comes from outside goes into into the place so whilst I'm standing No, it's not the neighbor, it's the housing association. After it was there from 2001, all of a sudden now, they, they joined with the neighbor. So they're coercing the neighbor to do whatever they need to do because they took out an injunction that I could go to prison if I talk about what is happening to me. Or, and they, they're seeking eviction. I got this place because of domestic violence. Yeah. Uh, don't worry about it so what i'm saying if something is not done because i've reported the matter to the police and they're not they're not taking it seriously to the the, the fact that I'm, I'm, I'm i have to tell you everything last christmas eve i had to barricade myself in here because of of my neighbor the female yeah and since of late I, I, she's coming down the stairs in a threatening manner they said because she didn't do me anything it's not a criminal offense. But last week, Sunday, the, the male one now stood at my door and shouted at me. They said it's a, that's a criminal offense. They sent somebody here to take it, um, do interview. I haven't heard back anything from them. Now it started again. It started again today. Yeah, because the day when I came from market, she stood at the at her door, opened her door, stood there looking at me. I didn't do anything because she has a right to open her door. She didn't do me anything. But he came and joined her and stood there and said, you're mad. You, 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 you must be in the hospital. My argument is from whatever is happening, me being threatened, me being this and me being that, and he coming to my door to scream abuse at me, when will he decide that I'm going to do something to put me in the hospital? That's my concern. I phoned the police just now. The police are going to come. They don't see the emergency of the situation. They're going to come because I said it's ongoing matter. They don't see the emergency of the situation. They're going to come on Monday. But yet when they make malicious report about something that did not happen. Yeah? Yeah, I have to... I have to be, I have to be, they come here, threaten to arrest me. I have to go to Croydon Magistrates Court three times and they ended up writing some 
nasty things about my mental health and whatever. And I, I, I had to go to Walworth Police Station after the interview. My husband and I got separated. It was so stressful. And until this day, from January, from February, I have not had any report. They said they're investigating. What are they investigating? Yeah? The police need to take this matter seriously. Or I think I'll end up, me and my husband, getting hurt badly. And then it will be another case of three members of, or four members of the same family was killed by somebody they know because i've been living here since 2000 my i came in here i saw my neighbor she used to change a lot of partners he's he's the steady one who's been around and as i said he was not disrespectful to me and now that he started being disrespectful to me that means he will do me anything i don't think the partner has any capability to be responsible for what she's doing because she she was an alcoholic allegedly i don't know anything i don't use drugs if I don't have to take um, med prescription medication, I don't take it. But her behavior, hmm? yes, yes, 